everyone, welcome back to a new video. Uh, today I just wanted to give you guys a little bit of an update on our season and how things are going. First off, I really apologize for not having more videos out this year. As most of you know, uh, we set up the second car this year to run the Outlaw classes with, and uh, doing the maintenance on both cars has just been a little bit overwhelming at times. Um, I feel like I don't have a lot of time left to, to edit the videos anymore. I don't really get a chance to sit down and, and go through the footage that I've picked up from the weekends. I am still recording almost all of our races, and I'm making an effort to keep the channel going, but like I said, I just haven't had a lot of time to sit down and edit the videos, so I really apologize for all of that. But I felt like I owed you guys at least just this, uh, this quick update video to let you guys know how things are going. I have to admit, it's been a very tough season already. Um, we got kind of a late start on the year, starting in uh, early May, I believe, which for us is pretty late. I was still taking the time to make sure everything was right on the cars, and then we were also moving into this new trailer here. So all of that change going on throughout the off season uh, forced us to get a late start on the season. We've gone to some really, really difficult races this year. Um, I feel like there hasn't really been many that we've gone to that weren't big, high-level races. And it just feels like throughout the first half of the year, one right after the other is some sort of major micro event. Uh, so we've definitely been racing with some really, really good competition this year. We've knocked off a couple wins. The first one coming in the winged outlaw car, our very first night out with it at uh, Wayne County. That was a $1,000 to win race, so that was a, a big confidence booster for us, and I'm glad we were able to pick that one up. The next one came uh, mid-June when we took a Saturday night to go to I-44 during uh, Now 600 Speed Week. That was the first time we'd been to I-44, and uh, the track wasn't fantastic that night, but uh, I really enjoyed the track that they do have there, and I think by the end of the night, the track was coming around to where it was really starting to put on some good racing, and we were able to pick up the win in the A-Class race. That being said, I really have been a little bit disappointed on some of the results that we have had here lately. We've had plenty of speed in the cars, and I really do feel like we've been running good, but with uh, the new Adams engines in the cars, the A-Class car and the Outlaw car, I really just sort of felt like we'd be doing better than we have been. And so that's been kind of disappointing for me this year. And it's made the year tough to accept those results. So I've been trying to work harder and harder to uh, continue to get better and build off of the results that we have had. A lot of nights I feel like we have the speed and we're right there, but there's just a little something missing each night it feels like that keeps us from finding victory lane. So, and I don't really feel like that's a, a certain one thing each night. I feel like it's just something here or there. Maybe it changes each night that we go to a different track or something like that. I just feel like we're just a tiny step off of where we need to be to be able to be picking these wins up. So that's been kind of frustrating, but I'm gonna continue working hard to uh, improve on that. And hopefully we can pick off some wins here in the, the second half of the year. Unfortunately, this past weekend at Sweet Springs, we did blow up the A-Class engine, which is gonna put a decent sized damper on the rest of our year. I really feel like having that Adams A-Class engine was a big improvement over what we've had any time before. At the time of filming this, we don't have the funding to get another A-Class engine from Adams. Uh, we do have a spare engine, but even uh, in my experience with off the bike engines, it's pretty weak even by those standards so we can put it in but i don't feel like it's go ever going to be worth it to to go out of town for an a-class race until we can get that engine replaced we're going to take this weekend off to kind of regroup and rebuild on things uh, it's been a busy hectic year it feels like every weekend out i'm not 100 percent prepared really where i need to be to feel comfortable um, so I'm gonna take some time and work on that a little bit. Adding the second car to our stable has been a lot more challenging than I anticipated it being. It's really more than doubled our, our workload on maintenance and, and keeping up with stuff, being ready for the track every weekend. Uh, so it's been really tough this year and uh, hopefully I can get things situated where I can just feel a lot better 
the second half of the season going to the track every weekend. Next week is the Terry Spread Memorial at Southern Illinois Raceway. I'm already signed up for that race, so we'll definitely be going to that one. Beyond that, I'm not totally sure what the season consists of. Uh, but I just figured I would make this video and let you guys know that I have not forgotten about the YouTube channel. And uh, hopefully soon I'll figure out something, some way to get the videos back going on the channel. Uh, but I apologize in the meantime for the lack of content. I appreciate all of you guys being uh, patient with me in this process. Uh, really, I do a lot of this just by myself. Uh, I do a lot of the maintenance on the cars myself, so that takes up a lot of my time during the week. Um, and then obviously being on the road over the weekends is difficult too for me to keep up with stuff at home. So uh, I appreciate your guys' patience and hopefully I'll figure out something where I can get videos back up on the channel soon. Lastly, I just want to say thanks to all of you guys for your support of the channel this year. It really means a lot to me and I really can't say how much I appreciate all of you guys following along with the racing journey and uh, keeping up with the videos, watching the videos as well, it really means a lot to me. Also I have to give a big thanks to Nathan Benson Motorsports, G-Force Chassis, uh, Porter Steel Buildings, DDI Fabrication, Sherville Suspensions, and AFD Graphics for everything that all of them do to make this possible. I hope you all enjoyed this short update video and uh, hopefully I'll be back with you guys soon for some more racing content on the channel.